Peanut Thai Stir Fry. Okay, this is the bottle I use, and I'm really excited, and it's delicious. Okay, for meat, you just pretty much want close to a pound of beef. I buy like the cheapest possible because it doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then I trim off any of the excess fat. I just noticed my dog is watching. And then I cut it into as thin as I can get, narrow strips. And then sometimes those are long, so then I cut them in half. Okay, while you prepare the rest of your recipe, what I do is I put the steak in a bowl or a gigantic coffee mug. And then just take the peanut sauce and dump a little bit off there over the steak. And that way it can kind of marinate for a little bit while you get the rest of the stuff ready. Side note, what the hell is this song? It's called Shogun, and it was the only sort of Asian song available on iMovie. And it's just really stereotypical and mystic and weird, but I figure I need some sort of background sound while I use my hand to mush together meat, because because. Okay, the veggies I have here are diced up zucchini, broccoli, yellow pepper, and sliced carrots. I couldn't remember what else I put in there. But look, there you go, carrots. And then I also had some diced onions frozen because I needed them for a different recipe. And I did a can of water chestnuts. The onions are just kind of to taste. So in a large nonstick skillet, you put all the beef and the veggies in and start to mix it around. And then you add extra peanut sauce so that it's pretty much saturated, but it's up to you how little or how much you want. I like a lot. And then I serve it with jasmine rice and make sure you're cooking that a little before you start sauteing because my rice takes like 20 minutes to make. This is the bowl of boiling water. And you will have lots of attention and beggars because they are just famished and I never feed them. You can tell how skinny she is, not really. Sometimes it takes a little longer than you want and you have to do a little dance because you're just so excited about the deliciousness that's gonna happen. Then what you want to do is you want to film your end product before you eat it and definitely take an Instagram because otherwise how will people know you ate food? And sometimes it just doesn't look good so you make your own special effects. And then that even isn't enough. So you add more special effects and make it look super old school film. And then if that's not enough, you add a freeze frame at the end and make it sci-fi. And then you eat. You just go upstairs and you eat because you look fantastic today and you have a new outfit on and you made stir-fried. Good job, look at you, you cooked by yourself. 